Executive Chef Joseph Schotze. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you one of my favorite classical French dishes. This is called Popiette de Sol au Vin Blanc. Basically, it is a sole wrapped almost like a roulade and poached in white wine and served with the poaching liquid fortified with butter into a sauce. Sounds difficult? It's not. So join me now as I show you how I prepare this lovely dish. Well, to begin, we'll have our Dover sole with the flesh side down, the skin side up. And as you recall, with breaking down flat fish, there are four fillets. So what I like to do is take the larger fillet and pair it with the smallest piece and put it together to make one nice piece. And then take the next two and put them together so they are kind of uh, roughly the same size. The next thing I like to do is season it with a little bit of salt and a little pepper. And next, I like to spread a little bit of olive tapenade on here. Next, I will take some zucchini that I had uh, sliced thinly and then seared it on a high temperature. Then I will take... Uh, some squash. Now that we got that done, let us go ahead and roll it. Stuffing it is completely up to you. I like to do it to add color to it, add more flavor, and also uh, the presentation factor and besides, now it's my vegetable for the plate. One thing I like to do is I will also take some scallions that we blanched in salted water. Go ahead and let's tie that in a knot, two of them together. And let's take it around and tie it. And the first thing I like to do, you can use a Dutch oven or any type of shallow pan like a hotel pan for the uh, poaching. First thing I like to do is smear some butter at the bottom of it. Next, I like to sprinkle some minced shallot and shaved garlic. Then we will put our fish in there. Then. I will add my fish stock. Go ahead and pour that into there. And then we will add our white wine. So we will take our parchment paper and make a parchment lid with it. An easy way to do that is take a piece of parchment, fold it in half, put it in the center covering half of your Dutch oven or your pan, fold it in half again, still there, and then just go ahead Pinch the corner and roll it like a funnel. Once you got it cut, it should lay right on top like that. But before I lay it on top, what I like to do is I like to take butter and brush the bottom side of the parchment paper. Now I have it brushed with the butter. I also add a little salt to it just to give it some extra flavor. Let's go ahead and lay that over the top like so. And we wanna bring this to a simmer and then we are gonna add it to the preheated oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, here we are, fresh out of the oven. And look how nice it's cooked and also bound together from the proteins. So what I'd like to do now is, I wanna take some of the liquid, put it into a, a oven safe dish or a pan, add a little of this, and what we're gonna do is transfer the fish over, so, these over here, wrap it with foil, and then the oven I already turned off, so we can uh, not further cook the fish, we just want to warm it. Now what we wanna do is we wanna strain the poaching liquid. So now that we have it strained, let's go ahead and pour the liquid back in. And the reason I'm doing this is because 
The Dutch oven is a much wider and more shallow pan, therefore it will come to a boil and reduce faster than it will with a deeper pan. Go ahead and add four ounces of lemon juice, bring it to a boil and reduce by 50%. Well now we have reduced by 50%, I now want to add my velouté. And as you recall from my other videos, the velouté is one of our five mother sauces. It is a stock that has been thickened with a roux. It could be any stock. It could be obviously the fish stock here. It could be chicken stock, veal, lamb, pork, whatever. We're now going to bring this to a simmer, allow it to reduce 25%. Now that it has reduced slightly, we're gonna thicken it with a liaison. Liaison is heavy cream and uh, egg yolks. So what we do is anytime you're working with egg yolks, you need to temper them. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of the poaching liquid, slowly put it into the yolk mixture until the temperature on the yolk mixture comes up closer to that of what's in the pan. Give it one more shot for good luck. Now that it is there, we can safely pour this into the poaching liquid. Stir it to incorporate everything. Allow it to simmer for about five to 10 minutes until your desired thickness is there. Now I have reached my desired consistency. I'm gonna turn down to low temperature, adjust the salt levels if it needs and white pepper and then i like to finish with some butter we'll slide it off the heat and then continuously whisk the sauce until the butter completely dissolves and or melts and incorporates into the sauce and at that time we are ready for service well there you have popiette de sol oven blanc Little bit of a tongue twister, unless you speak fluent French, but this is a dish I have not made in many years. However, it is one of my favorites. This I highly recommend for very delicate fillets of fish. For instance, bronzino, trout, even snapper, and obviously Dover sole. Those types of fish, you really can't grill you could either sear them on a like cast iron or something, very high temperature, very fast, or you broil them. By rolling this into popiette, what we're doing is actually making this delicate piece of fish into a more dense piece of fish, enabling us to cook it with other cooking methods. Feel free to, uh, you know, not stuff it with the squash zucchini or do it. Roasted red pepper works great in it. Um, you know, mushroom duck cell you could smear and spread in there as well. Or even cutting um, portobellas or something. Lengthwise, roast them and lay them in there and do the same thing. You know, it's, it's whatever you like to pair with the fish. And the white wine sauce coming from the fish stock generates so much flavor. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration and hope it, uh, you know, gave you a little bit of um, insight on some other ways to prepare fish instead of doing it, you know, always the same way. And if you like what we're doing, please feel free to subscribe and like us. Leave some comments below. Thank you for joining us. Do it by it.